Hi, this is Mike. I'm reading Robert Alter's translation of Exodus. This is chapter 5. And afterward, Moses and Aaron came and said to Pharaoh, Thus said Yahweh, God of Israel, Send off Israel, my people, that they may celebrate to me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is Yahweh, that I should heed his voice to send off Israel? I do not know Yahweh, nor will I send off Israel. And they said, The God of the Hebrews happened upon us. Let us go pray a three days journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to Yahweh our God, lest he hit us with pestilence or sword. And the king of Egypt said to them, Why, Moses and Aaron, do you disturb the people from its tasks? Go to your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Look, the people of the land are now many, and you would make them cease from their burdens? And Pharaoh on that day charged the people's taskmasters and its overseers, saying, You shall no longer give the people straw to make the bricks, as in time past. They themselves will go and scrabble for straw, and the quota of bricks that they were making in the past you shall impose upon them. You shall not deduct from it, for they are idlers. Therefore do they cry out, saying, Let us go sacrifice to our God. Let the work be heavy on the men, and let them do it and not look to lying words. And the people's taskmasters and its overseers went out and said to the people, saying, Thus said Pharaoh, I give you no straw. As for you, fetch yourselves straw wherever you find it, because not a thing is to be deducted from your work. And the people spread out through all the land of Egypt to scrabble for stubble for straw. And the taskmasters were urging them, saying, Finish your tasks at the same daily rate as when there was straw. And the overseers of the Israelites, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten, saying, Why have you not completed your tally for making bricks as in time past, neither yesterday nor today? And the Israelite overseers came and cried out to Pharaoh, saying, Why should you do this to your servants? Straw is not given to your servants, and bricks they tell us make. And look, your servants are beaten, and the fault is your people's. And he said, Idlers, you are idlers. Therefore you say, Let us go sacrifice to Yahweh. And now go work, and no straw will be given to you, but the quota of bricks you will give. And the Israelite overseers saw themselves coming to harm, saying, You shall not deduct from your bricks from the same daily rate. And they encountered Moses and Aaron, poised to meet them as they came out from Pharaoh. And they said to them, Let Yahweh look upon you and judge, for you have made us repugnant in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of his servants, putting a sword in their hand to kill us. And Moses went back to Yahweh and said, My Lord, why have you done harm to this people? Why have you sent me? Ever since I came to Pharaoh to speak in your name, he has done harm to this people, and you surely have not rescued your people. And Yahweh said to Moses, Now will you see what I shall do to Pharaoh, for though a strong hand he will send them off, and through a strong hand he will drive them from his land.